the West had adopted the heliocentric model only about 400 years back. That too, after Galileo proposed it after much stiff resistance. Before that, it was the geocentric model that was known. In stark contrast to this, in the Indian texts, in Ganita Jyotisha, in the Veda and the whole body of Indian texts, it was the heliocentric model and beyond. Heliocentric comes from the Greek word helios, meaning sun. In this view, the sun is at the center of everything in the sky. Ganita Jyotish, or astronomy, with its inclination for accurate recordings, has always held a heliocentric viewpoint. This is clearly indicated by a shloka in the Rig Veda, compiled over 5,000 years ago. Om Ayangau Prishni Rakrami Dasanan Mataram Punaham Pitarancha Prayan Suva Om According to this shloka, the moon, which is a satellite of the earth, revolves around its mother planet and follows it in revolution around the self-luminous planet, the sun, that is, the father planet. This shloka very clearly states that 5,000 years ago itself, the Indians knew and had recorded the heliocentric concept and mentioned that in all the four Vedas. And not only that, the Veda explain in very simple terms the heliocentric revolution of the earth and the rotation of the earth. For example, they explain this using how the wheel of a chariot turns on its own keel as it moves forward along the road to explain how the earth rotates on its own axis as well as goes around the sun. This very clearly shows that this knowledge was not meant or limited for the scholars alone, but it was also meant for the common man.